Okay, this is lesson one of PC Demos Automation. And we're going to create our first application and learn those things that we need to do to set up and prepare the application for communicating with PC Demos. Let's first look at a setting that you will need to do only once. Um, your your installation is probably set on basic settings by default. I'd like you to switch that to expert setting. And th this will become useful later on as we get further into the thread and the lessons on how to create a .NET application. So if you would, just go ahead and select expert setting and wait a moment for your copy of this to change. Okay, we can begin a new project either by selecting new project here. We can use file, new project. Either way, you're going to get the, the same result. And that is, we want to create a form application that will be a visible window that has uh, buttons that you'll be able to place in there and all the different things you can use to create a user interface that communicates with PC Demos. So we'll select form and we will come down here and change this to my first uh, PC Demos automation auto app. Once, once it has come up and you, you can see your form here, uh, go ahead and click the button here to save. The first time you save it, this window will come up and it, what it's telling you, it's going to create a direction, create a directory for your solution or your, your application. All right. First thing we need to do is change the version number of the framework that the application uses. So here it is right here in this line right there click on the pull down and select 3.5 it needs to restart your application and now it has now you'll have to do that at the beginning of every application you create our next step is to add a reference to the PCD session library what I do is I right click on references left click on add reference select browse and I need to look for that folder that we put the library in here it is and here's the library now we have that now we have a reference to that resource uh, you'll see here the Microsoft sharp got a little error indicator on it that's because when we switched to framework 3.5 that that reference isn't used it's not needed by the 3.5 3.5 framework library. All right, so we have the PC Demos session. Now we need to connect to your copy of PC Demos. Again, we right click on references, select reference, and we select COM. It's alphabetical, so we go down to P. Okay, we passed it. Scroll back. As you can see, I have two PC Demos objects, uh, one, two different versions. For now, we'll go. Se I'll select this one. You can select whichever one you have. It doesn't really matter. All right. So now I've made the connection to a PCDLRN reference and the library. That's the end of this session.